Hi, I'm Jeremy Sutton, and welcome to Corel Painter X3. When you first open Painter X3, you're going to see this welcome window, and in fact, uh, this is an example of one of my artworks in their gallery. And as we click on this little button here, we'll see a whole variety of artworks by different artists from around the world. Very inspiring, and some of them have shown stages there, like Heather, Michelle, Android. Look at his amazing stuff. Anyway, with each artist, you have a, their name on the left and a link to their website on the right. Definitely worth taking some time to explore the, the gallery here and enjoy the inspiration of all these different artworks. On the left here of the welcome window, you'll see you've got the opportunity to create a new image uh, or open an existing image, uh, to also open recent documents or templates. We can also, from this window, set up a workspace, or there's a link here to get workspaces from the Corel.com website. And I definitely recommend you check out the different workspaces that they have there, uh, created by different artists, and they'll all give you insights into different ways to work. You can also set up brush tracking and color management, which you can also do from within the program itself. And then finally, we've got at the bottom a what's new in Painter X3 and a link to online training and help. You also have access to that online help from the help menu. So that's on the top right of the Painter X3 desktop. And you will see there that you can go to the Painter X3 Help, which is a really uh, deep help. It's like having uh, an in-depth user guide there for you. There is a Getting Started Guide, which is also really, really handy. And then you've got links to tutorials, to Painter videos. And if you ever want to go back to that welcome window, you've got the opportunity there with the welcome to get right back to it. Let's dive in. We're going to go to File, New, that's Command N on a Mac, or Control N for New on a PC. And that's going to give us this dialog box here. We could name the file right away, or we can leave that to later when we do a save or a save as. You'll notice that there's a number of Canvas presets, and we can add our own, and that's actually very useful. At the moment, we're on the default painter preset for Painter X3, which is 1600 pixels by 900 pixels at 150 pixels per inch. But let's say we wanted to assign a 24 inch wide by 16 inch high canvas. We'll leave it at 150 pixels per inch, which I find actually prints pretty well. And in fact, a lot of the artworks in my gallery here are printed at that uh, resolution. Now, we could just have a white sheet of paper, or I can click on the color, mid-tone color there. That would be nice to work with. The paper texture, we could leave as basic paper, or for instance, we could go to an artist canvas. Now, that's not going to be noticeable until we use what's known as a grainy brush. So, just because there's a paper texture assigned, it doesn't automatically texturize the surface when we open our canvas. In fact, the surface is completely smooth. When you first open a canvas in Painter, it's going to be in a frame like this. We can zoom in and out. There's a slider here in the navigation, as you can see. We can also use the touch ring that we have, for instance, on the Wacom. Now zoom in, in and out. We actually also have the ability to use two fingers on a touch tablet like this. So I'm using a Wacom Intuos 5 touch and you'll notice that I can both zoom in and out and rotate and then by double tapping it gets to zoom to fit. If we're just working on a single canvas, the way that I like to work is what's called screen mode. And you'll notice at the bottom of the window menu there's a screen mode toggle. That's also a keyboard shortcut Command M for mount on a Mac or Control M for mount on a PC, and then we can hold down the space bar and we can move things around. <laughs> 